I am gonna show you so many cool art supplies today, you guys. Some of the companies that I met with, oh my gosh, there's so many to name, it was so exciting. I met with Zebra, Sharpie, Prismacolor, Flare, and I saw new stuff from some of them. <laughs> and I um, met with Faber-Castell, I saw Holbein, I saw Kareen markers, which I did a video on just a little bit ago, and you guys can check that out, a new marker called Olo. Artzia, okay, tell me how to pronounce the name because I can't remember. Stay tuned in this video because you're gonna see all the supplies from all these companies, and you're, gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna miss out. And some of them I saw, I can't tell you about now, but they'll be coming out later this year, so stay tuned for later this year. The ones that I can tell you about, I'll tell you that they're gonna come out, and the ones that are already out, I will give links below so you can get them most of them will be on Blick because they're available and that's the best place to buy them. How did I see all these cool art supplies? I'm at <laughs> Art Materials World Creativation in Orlando, Florida. And let me tell you, it was snowing at my house and it's super sunny down here. And so I'm very excited. What is Art Materials World? It's a conference for NAFTA, which is the International Art Materials Association. Last year, NAMTA actually combined with AFCI, which is the Association for Creative Professionals, basically companies that do a lot of craft and hobbies. This, coming to a conference like this is so much fun. They put a lot of effort into it. It's not like super big, but it's also very nicely done. A lot of the companies will have artists that are demoing the projects at their tables. And it's really cool to see how these amazing artists use their products and to just to get ideas. And one of the artists, uh, she, you know how I've been working on lettering this year? She was giving me pointers on my lettering and I was like, thank you so much, this is great. I love this community. They've had a lot of after events so you can go in, get to know people and then you see them at the show. This is my first year attending this conference and so I don't know many people but it seems like everyone is super nice and they're just, all willing to share so much information and answer so many questions. If you are an influencer on YouTube or Instagram and you like art, make sure that you come to this next year. It's going to be in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio to be exact, and you will love it. So let's get looking at all these cool, cool art materials. It was like Christmas there for me. I was like, seriously, like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. So many cool colors, so many everything, and I can't wait to show you. First up is Faber Castell and Faber Castell is one of my favorites because all their colors match. So no matter what you get in their like gold Faber line or their professional line, it's going to be the same colors. Their pencils, their pit artist pens, and look at this pretty drawing that was created with all these pens. These are the pit dual markers and they come in all these colors. There's some packaging redesigns happening this year. This is the Pit Dual Marker, and here I am trying to blend it on this paper. Uh, I was a little nervous because I was at the show. Every time I tried to do, people were like, oh, you're doing calligraphy? I'm like, okay, I am just learning. But here I am, it's blending pretty good, and I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm sorry if it's not <laughs> completely centered. But I wrote the word create, and they have a white pen you can do that with. This is their redesign of some of their collection. And here are the watercolors and the famous wooden box. I finally got to see it in person. Next up, we have the Goldfarber dual mar marker. And those were all the colors. And you can see that there's two tips, a fine tip and a brush tip. And here is all the packaging that is coming out for this year. These are new. And here is artist Leigh Ralston. She wrote my name and she told me all these really good tips about how to use the markers and to blend them. There's two tips and you can even use the other tip to do some calligraphy with that one. Next up is your pastel. These are really pretty. I'd love to try these out and go for it. Next up is Zebra. Zebra is one of my favorite lines right now. And they introduced some new markers this year from ClickArt. And there are 24 new colors and I will be doing a review of these. I have them in my possessions. And here are the five new mild liners. I don't know if you guys have seen them. I have a video on them. Here are the 50. All of the, there was 10 new colors for brush. Those are all the 50 colors. And here are some of the other products. They are combining some products this year to give way to make some really fun sets. And here we have all of the mile liners and the click R and some of their pens. And their pens are amazing, guys. Here is their colored pencil. And it's, it's just a mechanical colored pencil. And I'm so excited I got all of these so I can review them for you. 
I was able to pick up all of these colors and these doodlers these uh, are look super nice too I can't wait to try those they just have so many fun things and it's so much fun to go around and look at all of the products that they have and kind of get an idea of what is going on we have some Sarasa pens I also have these they're really nice they're not my favorite pen from them but i do like them so here are some more of those sets so you can see the sarasa felt is my favorite and they are pairing it with the mild liners i can't wait i don't have all the colors yet i need to get them and this blend pen they gave me is from them and it's been my favorite so far next up we have sharpie and they have some chalk pens which are really nice and i'm showing you what you ca i can from sharpie they have some really cool things coming out but we can't show everything look for more stuff in september there we have prismacolor and flare i do i'm going to get those and these are metallic look at that black it is amazing and they need to be stored upside down like what was shown and then we have mystic gems which were released last year i have a review on them here's the prism color so everybody can be an artist i really want to try one of these and see if i can actually draw because i don't know about my drawing abilities next up is derwent i went there and this artist abby was super super sweet and she went through all of the pencils with me we were kind of running well on time at the end but i decided i like their blender the best i tried their blender their blender pen and their burnisher and these are all the colors they have new colors coming for chroma flow i have the light fast i don't have the pro color or the color soft uh, but i will be getting these ink tests or pastel so that way i can review these for you and kind of show you guys the difference of what they do and abby really went through these with me and it was really nice they have some new black mix media paper coming out and here's the chroma flow here are the new colors coming out in this 72 tin right here and then this graphic paint was really fun to use too. So here is the front of that box and here is the back of that box. And you can see inside, I'm sorry the shot, I don't know why it got so grainy, but those are the new colors, aren't they super pretty? I'd love to review those ones. And we have pastel tinted. I think they gave me the pastel I can do a review on. And here's just like what it would look like in a store. That's the fun thing about going to these shows you can, is you can see all the displays here's all the light fast i also threw in the 72 light fast that i have there is a hundred light fast and right now you cannot get the extra uh, i think it is 30 28 but hopefully they will soon and down here you can see some of their more blending things and this is the chroma flow like we saw and then these are some of their paints their paints are really fun to use and they're super easy so i'll probably will be showing you more so i get a little intimidated by paint but the ink tense was probably one of my favorite colored pencils and i'm trying to decide what to review next and those might be on the list because they were super pretty next up we have karen dash i was so excited to go to this booth i had no idea they were going to be here and i got this shot really quickly they have new pencils coming out from luminance they have a hundred colors and here are all the swatches for all those colors so you guys can know if you want them i definitely will probably be getting them because i really want to review them but in between that and their derwent it's like okay what am i going to do and it looks like they might have a new blender which their blender is my favorite and I think I, I talked to the person um, that is over North America or America, and I'm going to try Neo Color too. Next up is Holbein, and they are great. Look at how pretty these colors are. He's painting. It makes me want to get out and paint, even though I don't really know how. Hopefully, one day I will go into painting. But here we have all of their colored pencils i want that in my house and this is all the colored pencils i still want these in my house these are the ones i have the tins of 12 i didn't take a video of them there so i just pulled mine out so you guys could see the colors that come in and they're pr really a pretty range and i have a video and a blog post on that so make sure you go and check these colors out because they are super pretty they have a new melts blending pen coming this year uh, so this is really cool it is a color pencil blender and it works like their melts and now we get into their oil pastels which are kind of like their crayons and here's all of their paint their paint is high quality it looks like this one you can put into a marker which would be a great starting point for me this one looks a little bit more complicated so probably not this one for me and look at all these just really really pretty colors they have goosh paint and watercolor paint acrylic 
just so many pretty pretty colors look at all these colors i want to really try it out but i'm a little intimidated so let me know if you guys have any tips on how to use paint next up we have karine i was saying it karen markers and i have a whole review on this this is the other box i have the one without the neons these are my metallics because they had them there but i didn't take a picture the review for the metallic will be coming soon Hey, welcome to the Olo booth. My name is Lori Craig. I'm with Olo Marker and we've developed a new product that we think you'll be very excited about. Let me give you a quick look at what makes this different from anything else that you have looked at. I'm showing you here a clear prototype. The things that make this a little bit different, if you were to pull a traditional marker apart, would have a felt liner inside that runs the full length of the barrel that helps absorb the ink and throttle the ink from the barrel of your marker to your nib. We have taken the felt liner out. This is a new technology. There's a couple of advantages to this process. One, it allows continuous ink flow and it allows for smooth color transition from the nib to the paper without waiting for that nib to recharge. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful flow of colored ink right to the paper every time. The other thing that the free flow ink technology supports is 95% consumption of the ink from the barrel to the nib. You don't have clogged liners, you don't have ink that gets trapped. Typically, you might lose up to 25% of your ink in that felt liner that you're never able to get from the nib to the paper. For this specific technology, the shorter barrel works very well. And what that allows us to do is to put two ends together to create a full-size pen. Each end of this marker holds as much ink as one traditional marker. When you purchase an Olo, you are getting two markers worth of ink on one pen. We sell them in two different brush sizes. Olo comes with a brush on one end and a chisel on the other. The brush end is notated by a nice black finish and just a deep gray for a chisel. That way when you pull your markers from the container to use them, you know immediately which way to flip that marker depending on which nib you like to use. One thing we know over and over is that customers tend to have a, a nib choice that they gravitate to. If your nib choice is a brush nib, you can take two different coordinating colors or two complementary colors, unscrew the marker, they're all interchangeable. Now you have a light pink on one end and a dark pink on the other end. Here's your natural blending pairs with the nib type that you like. Beautiful smooth color. Right next to each other. You can see from the color chart that we've offered you 128 colors with nice coordinating blending partners with a color range that makes sense. Each marker will be notated with a nice color cap with the color numbering system on the cap and it's noted on each end. Here's an example of a natural blending group. This is O for orange 2.2 and O for orange 2.4. So here I'm using my lightest color. This paper is Express It Blending Card. On lighter colors, part of what you're seeing is the alcohol and then it evaporates and you're left with a nice smooth blend. Olo will be available by your choice with brush chisel and open stock and then set configurations that will be set up brush brush and they will include different colors on each end. Red orange, yellow green, light blue, dark blue, purple, and black. They're available in nine different four piece sets and nine different eight piece sets that give you 16 colors. Next up we have Sakura. They make a water brush marker also, and I wanna try that sometime. They make a lot of gel pens and they have some really cool character characteristics and they're metallic. Some of them glow in the dark or give a really cool light like look here and then he's gonna take the flashlight away and it really just glows super bright. And then of course they have their fine liners which are some of the best in the industry next up Hanamura paper makes a difference and yes it does I sent this right to the person in the booth right before and he points up at the sign I'm like yeah because for the past little while I don't know you guys have been following along 
Crayola crayons, they color different depending on the paper. Like they actually look good if you use the right paper. There's smooth paper, there's a little bit of tooth paper, there's hot, cold press, there's all these different kinds of papers. And when you really find out what papers you need, it makes the world of difference. I'm really excited because I have a few samples of Hanamula and I've used them and they're great. And I can't wait to try some more of their paper. Okay, more paper. I did not realize that Canson and Strathmore were the same company, Dixon Ticonderoga. This line is their 300 series, and it is the lower line. The 400 series is their artist series, and we found out that I probably want mixed media. Canson right here, there is another Canson paper that I actually have the book and I should put that in because it is really amazing. I've been using it and I love it, but here's all their papers. This is like the professional watercolor paper. I don't even want to ask how much it was, but look at how thick that is. It is just super thick and you have so many papers. I don't even want to know how much that wall was worth because it looks like it would be worth a ton of money right there more than my budget but here we have their brushes i'm really i grabbed they gave me one and i am really excited to try it it was their round brush that they had really good things to say about it and then they have this other brush which i will probably try to go out and find but what you can do is when you are writing on the paper if you hold it at a certain angle it's angled so you can still see what you're doing and the brush doesn't and your fingers don't get in the way and they have these markers again that you can fill up which i am super excited about because then i can get into inks but then i don't i don't have to be as intimidated so i can get my way into all of this stuff and not feel so out of place and look at all these pretty colors they have they have some dye base they have some pigment base and i learned the difference pigment is like fast and dye is not because the particles are bigger with pigment so that means you have to shake it up next we have chroma which was super fun to go to they have some super fun paints and jennifer she has the same name as me so we <laughs> we connected there and this is their mural paint isn't that pretty i think these are the metallics and then over here we have some neon paint and i might try this out later this year let me know if you guys want me to but it would be really fun and then this is like their higher quality paint right here i might get a few so i can start color mixing again a little intimidated by paint but hopefully it won't be as much okay Phoebe is the nicest person ever. Let me just tell you this. And she had some pretty origami paper at Yatsutomo. And these are some pretty birds. I didn't get the whole thing because there was a meeting. But this mineral paper is super amazing. I really want to try it. And I have these watercolors. They are on a blog post from last year. And I'll link that below. And these water brush pens you can put water in. Or you can put ink in. So look at that look at how pretty that turns out and you can make your own markers and your own colors isn't that amazing you're like i really love this color and you can just mix it and make your own color and then you can use a water brush to move it around a little bit this effect is really cool too i might try it so you put water down and then look this is on mineral paper though so it's like a totally different thing. But look at how the water just goes and follows. Okay, this is the next trend I have to do. Crayons on rocks, yes, and pots, I saw this. So we need to try this and I'll do a video on this. It was so much fun to do at Creativation. Next up is Windsor & Newton. I have some markers from Windsor & Newton and I told them I was going to be doing a review on them. Also, I'm doing a pen review for you guys in the next few weeks. And they gave me a few to try for that review. This is, they have a brush nib and they have a chisel tip on them. So I don't know if I have the old markers or what, but one of the, my followers gave these to me and I was super excited and there's gonna be a review. So Artesia, and I was saying it wrong in the intro, is uh, really big on Amazon. I was able to see some of their products. I'm gonna try to pick up some probably later this year because I feel like I have a lot on my plate right now. But they also have a kids line and it'll be really fun to look at. This is a brand, I wasn't able to talk to them much, but they're an Italian brand that is trying to come over to the US, so pay attention to these people and we'll see if they show up in our stores. It'll be really interesting to see. The next part of creation was the craft side and I didn't go to much, but we're gonna go see Caterpillar, which is one of my favorites and I'll tell you why. 
Uh, these are our, our light boards. Um, they are used for um, paper crafting and general uh, fine art crafting as well. Uh, they are um, acrylic with three levels of light. This one is uh, quite unique. You see here there's no quartz. Uh, which is the unique in the business. But what's nice about these is they're very useful. You can do all of your transfers and your tracing here, but every board comes with a, a cutting mat, which makes them totally unique. Now this space is so much more useful. You can cut on top here with any cutting tool, whether it's rotary, whether it's X-Acto. Uh, then you can swap out uh, the mixed media mat to do all of your uh, painting, your gluing, your stamping. Uh, you can iron on this, you can emboss on this, and it's absolutely indestructible. This is a mixed media mat, and this uh, tempered glass here. Uh, they all have three levels of light. You can uh, adjust the light depending on your lighting conditions. Uh, we have the basic model, the premium model, which is cordless, and then the big model here, which is the biggest, brightest board on the market with a color mat. This is why I love Caterpillar. I've had this thing for as long as the company has been around. I joined, originally joined with Kickstarter. Look at that. I use this all the time. I have this specific one and I use this all the time for my projects, uh, for everything, for cutting paper, whenever I need to cut paper. I threw out my Cricut ones. I had like five of them. They didn't work. My husband got me this one. There's a cool light on it. You can measure everything. And this is how I make all the cuts basically my favorite i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what was your favorite some of mine were seeing all the colored pencils the luminance the crayon dash because i hadn't really seen them before i liked the new colors from mild liner and click art and some stuff from sharpie and the flare metallic the kareen markers have become some of my favorite i was just demonstrating to my mom today because she came to visit i was like look at these amazing markers everyone at the show got to paint this well i did the bottom left corner blue that's it goodbye from orlando let me know what was your favorite and we'll see you in the next video